Okay, a very good evening, good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, depending on when you watch this video. My name is Teach Herbert Mari once again from Old Kampala Adult School. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Teacher Herbert Mari. Like my Facebook page, Teacher Herbert Mari. Today I'm here to talk about stage fright. Stage fright. Have you ever asked yourself why you sweat? When you're talking before the public, have you asked yourself why your heart pumps so hard and so fast when you're talking before the public? Or have you asked yourself why you speak good English when you're alone and then speak wrong English or broken English when you're in the public? That's just because of stage fright. You experience what we call stage fright. Now, stage fright is when you fear. Fearing when you are talking before the public. Of course, when you fear, you sweat. And when you fear, you have to pump so fast. And when you fear, you forget even what you're talking about. And when you fear, very many things will happen at that time. So I'm going to tell you why you experience stage fright. And then later on, I'm going to tell you how you can overcome stage fright. Okay. So number one reason why you experience stage fright is that you fear to make mistakes. So that's a very big mistake that we make. Uh, when you fear to make mistakes before the public, it's so bad because the moment you fear to make mistakes, then you always make them. So for us, when you're speaking, when you're a student and practicing, you don't have to fear making mistakes because mistakes are part of our life. They are part of our life and we, it's okay that we make mistakes. The number two is that when you compare yourself to others, yeah, this is very common with the students. Students compare themselves to others. You think John is better than you, or you think Ali is better than you, or you think Herbert is actually better than you, but never compare yourself to others or with others. Then uh, sometimes even you lack information, you have inadequate information about the subject that you're going to talk about. For example, tomorrow you have um, a presentation or a debate about maybe maybe teachers are better than doctors so for you you don't get any information you don't research um, anything so you just come to class and the teacher calls you please Ali, come and speak to us and you don't have any information about that so you will start sweating you have to start pumping everything will become so disorganized and 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 and, and you will experience stage fright then number three is uh, sometimes number even number four is sometimes the new audience. Sometimes the audience is new. Audience, I mean the people that you're gonna talk to are new. You don't know them. You have just seen them for the first time. Maybe you were just used to talk to your fellow classmates, and this one is actually new. So you're gonna experience stage fright because you fear these people that you're gonna talk to. Then you have fear of judgment, of, 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 of lack of confidence. Some people fear that they will be judged because they don't have enough confidence or they don't have confidence at all. People just fear that when people just look at them, speak or, or, or presenting, they will, they, they, they will look at them and say, oh, oh, Akadid has no confidence or, or, or Sarah has no confidence. So it just comes into your brain and then you go to present, you have that, that people will judge me, people will judge me that I, I'm... I'm not confident. So that one also brings about stage fright. And then uh, number and uh, second last is the past five years or past five years. And in, in the past, maybe you tried to present people or tried to talk before the public. And then it was not all that good. You, you, you did not make it really good and maybe people laughed at you or you felt like you are not good enough so you're gonna fear in the next presentation you think that things that happened long time will also haunt you and happen in this presentation that's why people you see sweating because they remember what happened in the past so they think that maybe it will come in this presentation then the most big uh, 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 cause of stage fright is when you look at people as animals, but not as people. So you're going to present or you're going to present to people and then you look at the audience and you look at this one as a, a, a tiger, you look at this one as a lion, and you look at this one as a dog, and you look at this one as... So you think people will eat you. You think people will just come and eat you and kill you. It's why you fear, you sweat and, and panic and your heart pumps so fast and you speak wrong English because you don't look at people as your fellow people, you just look at them as, 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 as animals. So now, do this if you wanna 
overcome stage fright and, and I have seen it, very many students have done it and they have really overcome stage fright. Number one uh, is that, uh, is that uh, prepare earlier enough, uh, do preparations early enough, get information, get information about the subject that you're going to talk about and, um, and prepare prepare and, and, and read and, 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 and then have enough, enough information that when you stand before people, you got a lot of information that you're gonna tell them. So number two, uh, 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 don't fear to make mistakes because mistakes are part of life. And, and since you're a student, you are bound to make mistakes. That's why you are called a student. Students make mistakes and teachers and fellow students and other people help to correct those mistakes and, 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 and if you want to improve on English then you gotta make mistakes. Mistakes are part of life. And even we say that anyone who has never made any mistake has never tried anything new. Then uh, also another one is that um, uh, 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 practice your presentation area. You must practice your presentation area. For example, if the debate is there next week, so you must keep on practicing how you will do. We call it rehearsing. You rehearse how we, you will actually present when you reach that presentation. Then don't compare yourself with others because you are you, but you're not other people. You are Khalid. You are Sarah. You are you are Sarah. You are not Habat. You are Khalid. You are not Habat. So just go as Khalid. Just go as Sarah. Just go as Ali, but not as how about then love yourself physically some people fear because they think that maybe they are too short well some people fear some people get stage fright because they think that maybe they are too big so as you go to present then you say oh me i'm big man everyone is looking at me because i'm big so you actually have stage fright but that's how god created you if you are too big that's how god created you if you're too small that's how god created you so just love yourself just feel free if you're too short that's how god created you if you're too tall oh my god that's how god created you so you have not to fear so don't have just to feel bad about yourself or about your physical appearance you just have to go and present what you know then lastly is to look at people as your fellow people but not as animals so when you're going to present to people just look at someone as your your brother or your sister or your mother or your uncle but not as animals not look at people as as tigers and lions that will eat you people don't eat others people don't kill others so just feel free just say i'm presenting to my brother i'm presenting to my sister i'm presenting to my uncle i'm presenting just my friend so everything gonna be good and right so please guys always have any stage fright by doing what i've told you and subscribe to my youtube channel please share these videos with your friends and, and family and, and and everyone that you know um like my facebook page teacher habat mari thank you so much i come from old kampala adult school here in Kampala, Uganda. Thank you. Love you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.